Guys, you just finished your workshop. How do you feel? Oh my Super charged. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, well. I love Hap Chen. A new man. <laughs> Transform. I feel supercharged. The things, the things that previously held me back are not holding me back. I reached out to my father, who I hadn't been that close with in a long time. And I immediately felt that I have, a, I have a father again, and that feels amazing. And I already know the career path. I kind of always knew the career path I should be on, and now I have no doubt that I not only should be on it, but I can be on it. And then in my love life, I, the woman I've loved for years, I always kind of had a, a resistance to moving forward. And now I know that that path is the most important path. What would you say if you had to like say something about the word? The word holistic is the first that comes to me. It's really like a comprehensive um, experience about what life is about in every compartment of life. Whatever you think your life has a piece, you're gonna work on it. Anything you think is linked to, to living as, as a human, you will touch it, you will go deep, and you will solve it. It's complete. For once in our lives, know with certainty that there is no existential question that can't be answered. Having clarity about why we're here as people, as humans, uh, what, what our purpose on this world is as individuals and as, a, as humanity at large, and just fe feeling the glory of who we are as people, as individuals and as a species, it's, it's amazing. Pretty much everyone, I think there's something in us that always tells us there's that whether it's us or people around us or the environment or anything, there's always something wrong with the world and it makes us uncomfortable and it just permeates our life. Um, and this workshop has shown me that it's, that's just a point of view. That's a perspective that we all seem to adopt from our parents, from our friends, from society at large, and we don't have to adopt that. And if you let that go, you can really find freedom. I'm 55 years old, and I realized that all my life I've been cutting out love and people from my life because I was too afraid of them and it came out for me that it was just my resentment because I wasn't able to say no and now I know I've got a choice in life I know I want to be happy and I know I want to live and I want to love and I want to embrace life and I've got everything to do that and I can't tell you it's a, I'm just grateful. At that moment, I'm just, I feel, you know, blown apart. But I know I've got the power to take up the pieces and start a new life. In this process, what is the thing that helped you the most? To see the miracles in other people changing and then to, and, the, and the tools, like to realize I have a choice in any given moment. I have a choice. I have a choice. I, I'm not a victim to anything. I've got the choice. I've got the power to create my life. And to see it working in all other people, then I... I also trust that it's going to work in me. And for me, it was the most hardest thing to, to trust that I can do it as well. Because it was all my life. Okay, everybody can do it. Nobody feels like an alien like me. But hearing all the stories of everybody, then I, I know everybody has got things to resolve and uh, I'm not different. This is my second mythic 
voyage. I did my first just over two and a half years ago, and I've been a Tiramitica since then. But the whole time, despite how much I've grown and changed, one of the things I haven't touched inside of me is exactly the same thing that Louise was talking about, about, about feeling an obligation towards what's right and towards other people. Uh, and the whole time, never honoring what's true, to, true to myself, true to my heart. Um, I realized that for my whole life, this has been a pattern that I've never listened to the voice inside of me and I've never really tr truly felt what I want as a person. And being able to explore this with the ayahuasca, it, it made me realize like how disconnected I was from myself. Um, and for the first time, I, I, I started to listen to that voice inside of me, the one that, that, that stopped daring to speak because I just never felt that he had ever been listened to. So it was a hugely powerful workshop for me, and I feel I feel a whole new lease on life. You said the ayahuasca. What what helps you to navigate through the ayahuasca? Uh, the consultations with Mikas, he helps us see the areas inside ourselves where we're blocked. These areas we wouldn't even think of exploring ourselves. So we have a consultation with Mikas, and he'll give us a question to go to the ayahuasca and ask. Um, and through the process of this, the ceremony, you, you explore this question. The question for me is what, what in my life is non-negotiable? And through the ceremony, I, I realized that everything in my life has been negotiable until I finally, finally, finally found the true answer, which connected with me, which is no matter what I come first, I can choose what the most important things for my life are without having to feel guilty about what the right thing for other people is and what my duty is. When you feel when I when I connected with that feeling, it, it just opened up a new world for me. I've always had trouble connecting with people. Like I felt like attached to my sadness, and drive people away, and I'm trying so hard to release that and to just take my life back. And I felt happy so many times when I was here. And I felt so connected to everyone here and cared for. And I just had so much endurance. I had so much focus and so much determination. And <laughs> it's, it's something that I'm going to keep working on. Trying to just reorient myself toward happiness. Like find reference points in my life. Um, that make me happy and keep going toward that. And I, I turn away. I turn away from it all the time. And I see that now. I can see the patterns and the mechanisms and, and the ways that I'm, I'm turning away from it. So the first practice is to see that and, and then just keep moving back toward what I really want, which is to be happy. So when I booked this trip, I booked a few extra days to go travel uh, around Peru. And with halfway through, I knew I wanted to go home right afterwards because I wanted to get back to my life and start changing the things that I know are problematic and tell the woman I love how much I love her and I want to spend the rest of my life with her. And that while traveling around is great, it's kind of a, a break from my life. But now I'm empowered to feel that my life is awesome and I don't need to escape it at all. I have written something during this workshop and uh, I'd like to say it now. Mm -hmm. I thought I was alive, but I was in denial. This is called to survive. It is not emotional. When your life is so empty, that nothing is coming. You need a solution. You need revolution. Your life is, is too precious for you to be anxious. No time to be sorry. You have to be happy. Today you can see, this signing light is me. Today you can see, the diamond is set free. I love this life right now, and now I can feel. I can feel. 
and this is good. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs>